Hi. To add the dial and storyline, you need to go to the Insert tab. Then, under the Interactive Objects group, you will see the Dial button. There are three built-in design choices. They all work very similar, so we will choose the first one. When you have selected your dial type, then simply drag the dial in the size you want on the page. You can easily modify dial appearance under the Format tab. You can change the face color. You can change the pointer's fill color and border color. Also, you can change the shadow effect. There are multiple built-in styles. And of course, you can customize shadow under shadow options. If you have a specific design you want to use for your dial face and dial pointer, you can add image instead of using just color. Same as before, you can change face border color or remove it completely. And as before, you can adjust shadow effect, choose built-in style or remove it completely. At any time, you can change the dial's position and size. To set the precise size, you can type in the value by hand. You can use Arrange and Alignment tools to align the dial to other objects or page itself. To change the parameters of how dial works, you should go to the Design tab. Here you can change the variable where value of dial will be stored. You can also change when to update the variable. There are two built-in options. First option will update dial's variable only when dial is released. Second option will update dial's variable while you are moving it. And this is the default option. Rotation parameter changes the amplitude of how far you can move the dial. Default is 180 degrees, but you can change it from 0 to 360 degrees. However, if you choose 0, then the dial won't work correctly. Starting value changes the minimal variable value that you can set with the dial. End value changes the maximum variable value that you can set with the dial. Initial value changes the starting position of the dial. It can be between starting value and end value. Step value changes the precision the dial can be moved and how much it adds or removes from the dial value. If step value gets smaller, then there will be more steps for the dial. After you have selected your desired values, you can easily adjust dial's rotation by dragging rotation anchor. You can check how your dial works at any time by previewing the slide. And that was it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you feel like learning more, please come back for more videos. Bye-bye.